Hello, my dear children. In the last lecture, we have covered the first topic of the respiration that was just a slight introduction on the types of respiration. Today, we are going to uh, cover the topic respiration in animals. So, now there are different types of respiration based on the organs which are involved in it. Suppose if I talk about the first type of respiration that is cell surface respiration, it includes what? It includes the general body surface. For example, the animals which are having cell surface respiration, they may be amoeba, paramecium, etc. Unicellular organisms are included in this. Now, second type of respiration is can be called it can be called as tracheal respiration this tracheal respiration occurs with the help of trachea and tracheoles and this type of respiration is very much common in insects the third type of respiration is branchial respiration this type of respiration uh, in, involves the organ like gills and gills as you know children uh, these are present in fishes so fishes respire through gills and that is called as a branchial respiration the fourth type of respiration is cutaneous respiration and this occurs with the help of a skin common example is frog the fifth type of respiration can be called as a pulmonary respiration this involves the lungs and this occurs in animals like amphibians, reptiles, birds and human beings. The last type of respiration it is called as a buccal respiration. This occurs with the help of a buccal cavity which is very well developed in frog etc. And this is common in frog. Now this was all regarding the types of respiration on the basis of organs involved. Now, respiration in animals takes place as a single unit. They have different types of organs for respiration due to which mode of respiration also varies according to the organism. But the basic mechanism is seen from phylum protozoa to tenufera. Like if I write like this, from the phylum protozoa to tenufera. The respiration is through general body surface. In phylum platyhelminthes to nematodes are mostly anaerobic and endoparasite. In phylum annelida cutaneous membrane occurs and then from phylum arthropoda till mammals various respiratory organs were developed like trachea, gills and lungs. Now some important characteristics of respiratory organs of animals are they have large surface area to get, get enough oxygen. Important characteristics of respiratory organs in animals. The first and foremost important characteristic is they have a large surface area. Large surface area to get enough oxygen. The second important Characteristic of respiratory organs, they have moist thin walls, moist thin walls for easy diffusion and the third important characteristic is they have rich blood supply, rich blood supply for the transport of respiratory gases. Now children, let me talk about first uh, respiration in amoeba. Respiration in amoeba, as I already said, it occurs with the help of what? General body surface. General cell surface will write here because amoeba is a unicellular organism. Now in unicellular organisms like amoeba and in some lower multicellular animals like sponges and nidarians, respiration or exchange of gases occurs through general body surface. These cells are in direct contact with an aquatic environment so that the oxygen dissolved in water diffuses into the cell and brings about the oxidation of food. 
so this occurs with the help of a simple process of diffusion through the plasma membrane at the same time carbon dioxide released is expelled out of the cell by the same process so through diffusion exchange of gases takes place now let me talk about the respiration in uh, earthworm respiration in earthworm the organisms like earthworm and leech exchange of gases occurs through their skin as their skin is very thin and moist their skin is very much thin and moist so respiration takes place with the help of what is skin and the process is same that simple diffusion it is rich in blood supply so the oxygen is absorbed by the moist skin of earthworm and is transported to all the cells of the body through blood the carbon dioxide from body cells diffuses into the blood and expelled out through the skin so exchange of gases exchange of gases takes place through the simple process of diffusion when oxygen is entered and co2 is released out of the body now the next is respiration in fish respiration in case of fishes as i already told you that respiration in fish occurs with the help of gills and that is called as a branchial respiration in fish actually ex exchange of gases occurs through the gills so the respiration is said to be branchial gills are present on both the sides of its head they are covered by gill cover gills on both the sides of head and covered by gill covers now during breathing what happens fish takes in uh, water through its mouth and pass it over the gills now fish takes in water takes water through mouth and the oxygen present in water is, ex is extracted by gills o2 is extracted by gills and h2 that is water is removed out through gill slits is removed out through gill slits this oxygen is now absorbed the o2 is absorbed by blood and carried to all the parts of body and carried to all body parts of a fish this is how the respiration in uh, fish is occur if i talk about the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is released into the blood and comes back to the gills and is expelled out into the surrounding water same type of respiratory pattern is followed in some other aquatic organisms like prawns etc so besides fishes this type of respiration is common in prawns also it's common in prawns now if i talk about the respiration in grasshopper which is a kind of insect respiration in grasshopper which is a category of insect as i told you in insect there is a tracheal respiration so insects will respire with the help of trachea and tracheoles in insects there occurs a system of tiny holes and air tubes all over the body there are tiny holes and air tubes all over the body and these tiny holes are called as what spiracles these are called as spiracles and these tube like structures they can be called as tracheoles now this whole system facilitates the exchange of gases and is called as tracheal system during breathing oxygen of air oxygen which is present in air it enters through spiracle and reaches to each and every part of grasshopper's body through trachea and tracheoles trachea and tracheoles they will carry this oxygen to all the body parts on the other hand the carbon dioxide it is collected from body parts fine now it is carried to tracheoles and trachea then from tracheoles and trachea the carbon dioxide will be carried to spiracle and through spiracle that co2 
CO2 will be released out. CO2 will be released out. In this way, the respiration occurs in grasshopper and same mechanism is followed in other insects like if I give you example of insects, some other insects, they can be houseflies, they can be mosquitoes, they can be bees, etc. So, this is how the respiration in animals takes place. Now, in the next lecture, children, we will talk about the respiration in humans. Thank you.